Welcome to Straight No Chaser's YouTube channel, and welcome to the club. We really appreciate you being here. If you haven't been here before, we just have two simple rules. Respect everybody's opinion, and allow everybody to speak. If you follow those two rules, we will get along just fine. If you haven't followed any of the mods in the club, please do at this time. Click the green house at the top and join the club. If you violate those two rules, we will send you to Goo York City. Other than that, welcome to Straight No Chaser's So, uh, what do you say? Yo, listen, man. What are you talking about? That's not trolling. I'm tired of these niggas on that side. Excuse me. Listen, bro. Tell me the listen. Question. These niggas, have no this is what I've been noticing they do. Just check it. If you let them get away with it, they don't say nothing. But the minute you call them on it, hey, my nigga, what the fuck? Or oh, what you just said? Nigga, stop. Oh, I was just trolling. Bro, no adult man's mind. When we talking about a McKeever 50 years old, this is a, we are saying for this woman to be 50 years old, her body is still on point. How in the fuck do you at 44, 45 years old go to relating to the 50 year old woman body we talk about is still tight at 50 and say her shit is tight like a 13 year olds. How you do that, bro? And say ain't nothing wrong with that. Who mind? Am I tripping? Your mind ain't even supposed to associate one with the other. That means when your 12, 13, or 14 year old little niece or daughter is around, guess what Freddie doing? If Freddie go to a pop on a football game, guess who Freddie looking at? The little cheerleaders on the sideline. When it's a lady walking through the mall with her daughter, a 40 year old lady walking through the mall with her 13 year old daughter, and they both got jeans on, Freddie checking both of them out. He said it, not me. You heard me say, hey, bro, get up out of here with that B. James shit. But the nigga, try, I mean, I don't know. Bro, I want everybody to play devil's advocate with me right now. If you in the goo, raise your hand. Because this nigga is trying to say, it's nothing wrong with him saying that. Hey, Wack, first of all, you gave the nigga an out. You told the nigga, hey, let's go ahead have this conversation, you know, I outside yeah. the app first so we can get some clarity. Yeah. Then we can have it in front of the people. He didn't want the out. And then when you start pressing him and he couldn't come, he, he couldn't find his way out. So he started bringing up shit about you that people said about you. You talking to him about shit he said out of his mouth. Out of his mouth. So that's a difference right there. <laughs> like I said, bro, you ain't never heard you ain't never heard Wax say none of that shit. And you talking about a scorn bitch who eight months ago never said none of that shit. But since she didn't lost her job and just got evicted from her spot and just got found guilty for domestic violence on her kids. And she see we over here smiling still. Motherfucker gonna say any motherfucking day. I ain't worried about that. That's one thing I'm not worried about, right? I don't like lies. Don't you know? They don't move me. But my is bro. There, there is no justifying that. Um, the beautiful part of me going to the room. part of me going to the room 
Because I was really over there playing possum. I know niggas is like, Unk ain't told us nothing while he rolled down over there. I just needed to check trap to make sure I was right. Because R&B, you know I've been holding that clip, that promo clip, the pedophile campaign clip. Yeah. I ain't let it go. And with this, these bowls up, Who on the stage is smart? What did Freddie ultimately do on that stage? Cop the plea. He showed his hand yep. on what's fucking with him. Yep. yep. That's the whole all team I up wanted. there. He brought his whole team up there. No, yeah, no, he tried no. to line you up. He, he no, 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 no. I wasn't worried about that. You know, one thing about whack, I see what's going on. And he can't line me up with none of them people anyway. There's nothing you could do to line me up. Okay. Oh, with none of them people right there. They don't work too good with me, right? So all they can do is start hollering and screaming. But what Freddie fucked up at, he showed his hand on what's been bothering him. And now I'm about to go millennium 10 million to the world about Freddie Roosevelt and his pedophile behavior on the app that's for people 12 years old and up. <laughs> he showed his hand. He, he showed. He went to that. I didn't go even talk about it. I wanted to see. I said, okay, let me see what's been fucking with him. I mean, knowing Freddie, he's going to want to talk about it. I just went over there. Yo, Freddie, you know, he went for the shit, you know. Yeah, you you, you gave him an out, out, too, Wack. You gave him an out. You gave him an out. Multiple times, you're like, oh, you can go to the back. We can talk to this private. Nah, let's do it now. You, yeah, you bro, because I'm a... Okay, <laughs> nigga, you all born in... Mind is not supposed to be when we're talking about a 50-year-old woman's body. Your mind is not supposed to be comparing that to a 13-year-old girl's butt. Absolutely not. That was your a mind. Is not yeah, that's a fact. Work like okay. Let me put y'all in a different thing. Tell us leave four blocks. You at the house? The the kids the side. Yo, no, no. you hear me? Wack, you gotta repeat that. You was in the Matrix tough as soon as you started okay. talking. Let me take y'all somewhere else on how I see this. Fourth of July, you out your family's house, the big house with the pool, the slide, the fireworks, the barbecue, the music. Everybody there, 100, 200 people there. The fellas over here slapping bones, playing pee knuckle with spades. The ladies is over here talking. The DJ on the ones and twos. And the kids are in the swimming pool, running around in their swim trunks and bathing suits. Right? Right. Now, fellas, come off the mic. And ladies, come off the mic. If people here we haven't seen in a year, two years, five years, or whatever, fellas, if we look over here and see Sharita, right? Damn, I ain't seen Sharita in 15 years. Nigga, Sharita looking good in the motherfucker. Right? Hell yeah. That's your thought. Mm -hmm. Ladies, ladies. Goddamn, that nigga Paul. Remember your Paul? Yeah. Paul, that motherfucker, Paul is, do he looking good? You yeah, ain't say he a manager of such and such. Paul ass looking like he ain't aged. He got a six pack and shit look like he work out. Ladies, am I right? Yeah, we gonna be looking at all. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's where our mentality and conversation as adults in this setting should start and stop. But here you got a nigga like Freddie Roosevelt. The kids is running around in their bathing suits. Getting in and out the pool, slipping slide, coming down the west slide. What is this nigga, Freddie, at 44 years old, looking at in our 12, 13, 14, 15 year old daughters and nieces and neighbors running around innocently, getting in and out the pool, on the floaties, or whatever they're doing? Well, you know, I'm he looking at. 
he looking at the four, the thirteen year old, the same way he looking at grown ass Sharika. Who now? I'm giving you another way of looking at it. Real shit. Don't be looking at a barrel. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what was going on because we're talking about Makiba, who is a 50 year old woman from Chicago. Great lady, great personality, strong will. And I'm like, yo, Makiba, 50 years old. She crazy and a motherfucker, but Makiba still got a body at 50. She's still, she toned up and shit like that. That's the lady I was trying to hook uh, King, uh, whatever, I forget his name. King I think John. I ain't been here so long. King John up with, right? Nigga, we talking about Makiba. Everybody, yeah, yeah, nigga, Makiba is thick. Woo -woo. Here, look, here go Makiba. Makiba Sharita. Damn, nigga, look at Makiba. Is that Makiba, nigga? With the short haircut, yeah, nigga, McKeever still got it. How old is bitch, nigga? You know, McKeever three years older than us. Nigga, we was in the ninth grade when she was a motherfucking senior. Nigga, McKeever is 50, huh? Damn, she's still looking good. What the fuck McKeever been doing? Right? And Freddie on the side of us at the spade table talking about, fuck McKeever. <coughs> Look at her 13-year-old daughter. <coughs> Fellas, what are we going to do with it? Out, so the whole, the whole, everybody's car just going to freeze. Hell yeah, that's like saying she got an ass like her daughter. That is exactly what that's Your like. mind that's is not crazy. supposed to fucking translate like that, bro. I'm sorry. It's not. I'm not supposed to walk. Now, here goes the example I use for a thief. I walk in Cap's house. Cap got his watch on the, uh, you know, the island. I see some miscellaneous money, 80 bucks or so, on the table. His wife's red and ring is by the stove. My mind is not supposed to go to, damn, I can get these niggas for all this shit. That means you a thief. Am I right? Yeah. I'm supposed to walk uh, in, yeah. sit down. I see it because it's in plain sight. But nothing's registering do something with this man's property. Man, I could have got that nigga. Bro, why is your mind even working about could have got a nigga that, that welcomed you into his home, bro? What the fuck are you all? Right? Nigga, this what I'm saying. It's the same shit, bro. I don't walk by a running car. It's just me, and I know some car thieves. I'm going to bring it down. I don't walk by a running car. Right with the windows down and say, I can steal this motherfucker right now. <laughs> I don't. I, I just see a running car. Now, a car thief will walk by a running car and they're gonna be they gonna stop and look around. That makes that's what makes him a car thief. Am I right? That's what makes him a car thief. He will steal a car if given the opportunity. Am I right? Now, Freddie, if given the opportunity with a 13-year-old Freddie, judging by your behavior, I think you will touch that little girl because your mind is focused on how tight 13 little girls' bodies are. That came out of your mouth. Nobody else's. R&B, run the content back. Hey, bro, this ain't an accusation I'm putting on a man. He said it, not me. Whoa, he said that shit. He saved him because he got monkey pox in his mouth. Hello, can you hear me? 
Jimmy White, she said you got what is this nigga? Is he still in the room? Oh, he gone, McGee. I can't troll him right now. He ain't here. Hello? But I know this. My boy pulled his bitches down. A lot of you women, y'all want a man like that, and he only so. Oh my God. Hello. Yeah, oh my God. Listen, man. Oh my God. Now we on little boy. Oh my God. No way. Ain't no way. Oh my God. Wait, Yo. let me get to that one more time. One more time. One more time. All right, that's wait. the stuff. Wait, hold on. Oh, Look at Makiba. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Makiba, I can't, I can't save him because he got monkey pox in his mouth. Hello. Do you hear me? Jimmy White, she said you got... What is this nigga? Is he still in the room? Oh, he gone, Makiba. I can't troll him right now. He ain't here. Hello? But I know this. My boy pulled his bitches down. A lot of you women, y'all want a man like that, and he only so. Hello? Do you hear me? What Listen, state man. is he in? I'm a mandated oh, reporter. Fuck that. A nigga in Georgia. Oh, little baby, bro. He's sitting there speaking about that little baby, man. That's crazy as fuck. Listen, that dude is no different than a Jeffrey Dahmer or any other type of predatory motherfucker, he think, bro, this is a, this is a continued behavior. Fuck, look, they all, look, fuck what they, yo, what? Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click, like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only, straight no chasers.